So here we have the piece from a collector's resource. Went ahead and grabbed my, my measuring tape because I wanted to do some quick measurements of this thing. And it's roughly 45 inches long. And we'll see how wide it is. It's about 15 and a half inches wide. My guess is that there's some additional uh, packing material on all of the sides, so I'll remeasure on the inside, but wanted to at least get a little bit of um, some, some measurements and dimensions for the, uh, for the outside package here, for those that might be curious. It's roughly, roughly two and a half inches thick. Again, just trying to be as transparent with this as, as possible. Kind of pre-cut some of this earlier, but uh, cut through it again. Just a couple of spots here, make sure. So we'll open this thing up, see what it looks like on the inside. Definitely appears to uh, to be well packed. And uh, as I surmised, there's definitely some styrofoam in here. You guys may have to bear with a little bit of, of noise here. There's a couple of inches of uh, styrofoam all around. And then they've also uh, taped this top piece of cardboard in place to the styrofoam and I'm guessing to the piece below. All right, so there we go. That's uh, what's on the inside. Couple of, uh, like I said, I don't know, maybe inch and a half or so of uh, styrofoam on the sides the to uh, to protect it which uh, I definitely appreciate that you know if you're gonna if you're gonna pay good money for something you want it to definitely be um, protected from uh, careless handling by the various uh, delivery services that are out there so we'll remove some of that stuff and uh, basically what it appeared that they did is is um, sandwich the the piece between two pieces of cardboard and around all the edges had styrofoam which is again really really good move it's, it's basically a comic book technique right i mean that's what we kind of sort of do with comic books and and what's fantastic is i do believe uh, that tony and rob are are comic book guys so i'm sure that they've they've learned some lessons from shipping comics that they have readily applied to uh to shipping these these wonderful pieces that they create uh there's also a, a wonderful amount of uh of cellophane wrapper here on this piece which uh which i definitely dig and and respect and appreciate so here you can see him flip it over here you can see some additional things that they've uh Attached a couple of extra things here, so we'll uh, cut those away. Looks like some, um, looks like a couple of uh, frames here. That's cool. So let's. Uh, looks like there's two of them, so I want to cut those away so we can get a, a good look at those first. So what does this say? Um, hopefully, you guys will be able to see this graded comic book pod. Museum edition, it says, a protecture book with UV protecting or UV blocking acrylic collector's resource designed to fit all standard size CGC, CBCS, PGX slabs, one piece wood frame with beautiful high quality finish. The graded, graded book pod is manufactured by the comic collector i'm sorry by the collectors resource.com if i could only read <laughs> if i could only read it is late night so you have my you have my apologies but th this is awesome man this is basically a a, a frame for slabbed comics and uh i think what's really really fantastic about it to be honest with you is the uv protection that that to me is what's really fantastic about it and uh these guys manufactured this thing which is uh which is also impressive it's in a, a sealed bag here so we'll have to cut that open and see what that's all about and then here is a smaller one uh this is the comic book pod Museum quality display, it says, safely display your comic books with the comic pod as with the superhero or super uh, man like figure. This one actually says 98% um, UV resistant, 
museum grade OP3 clear acrylic cover and black matting uh, board included. Very, very cool. This is cool, man. I think those UV ratings are really important. I talk to a lot of people that are like, hey, I want to display my comics, but I'm worried about the light. This is a really, really fantastic option for being able to hang up your uh, graded comics, whether they be CGC, CBCS, or PGX, and actually have some UV protection. And then also to be able to uh, to hang up some uh, some raw comics and to get that same level of protection. This is really, really cool. So the collectorsresource.com is the website. I'll try to remember to put that on the screen, but that's basically what the, uh, the text here says. I'll try to pop those open uh, a little bit later in the video. And uh, apologies for the noise there. Uh, some things cannot be helped. Some things can't be helped, all right? So let's see what uh, the big piece is here. Separate that a little bit. Let's pull this off to the side. So. So there's a little bit of a note here. Uh, thank you for purchasing one of our frames. We hope you like them as much as we do. Peel the protective film off this piece of acrylic after you place your comic book between the acrylic front and black backer. It may be necessary to adjust the screws to allow for the thickness of the comic. And then there's a, a hotline number here. So love some directions that give me guidance. So let's go ahead and uh, carefully cut open this bag here. And these guys are official, man. I mean, this is uh, some official stuff here. off to the side on the back side here i don't know what this is made out of i assume that this was going to be made out of wood but i i do not think that this is wood i'm not quite sure what it's made out of it's almost like a um i don't know i mean like a maybe like a particle board that's actually uh coated with something there's definitely it's it there's some texture to it uh you can see here all of these really wonderful um plastic levers on the back side that my guess is uh, like a, a photo frame kind of uh, pivot and allow you to, to get this back piece off here uh, to actually be able to put some comics in it that's actually I mean as you feel the uh, the material you feel the screws you feel the plastic I mean it does not feel cheap at all it really does not feel cheap I mean this is this is actually some nice stuff and there are two slots here at the top um, for the screw heads. My guess is that you you hit the screw head. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that here. I may have to do some close-up photos or something like that, but there is a spot here on the um, my left where my fingers are right now for like a screw head. And then you basically, once you get the screw head set, you kind of slide the piece down so that it kind of fits into this little groove right here. And my guess is that it fits extremely snugly to uh, to the wall flip this thing over here and get a look at the front side and uh, this is basically picture frame holder right so uh, this thing can actually accommodate up to six comics which I think is really really cool uh, especially because of a comic that I, I picked up recently well technically six comics that I picked up recently that are basically a connecting cover so I'm definitely I'm definitely pumped to uh, to see how this thing works with the, with the actual comics and so um this is probably the protective film that they were talking about that has to be peeled off so off of the acrylic so but again this this thing has a nice feel there's definitely some some weight to it this thing is not it's not heavy it's not light 
um, probably sturdy. Sturdy is the word that I would probably use to describe this thing, uh, which is, again, if you're going to spend some money on something, you want it to, um, to not feel flimsy in, uh, in one's hands. So I'm going to try to rotate or pivot these, these screws off to see if we can get access to this back cover. See how that all works. And just like that, we've removed the, uh, the entire piece there. So you can see that it's basically completely open. It's a piece of, I'm guessing this is the acrylic right here. And it looks like there's two pieces of, uh, maybe plastic coating on either side of this thing that will have to be peeled back. So there's one piece right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And there's the other piece and uh, clear, really, really clear from what I can see here. So we'll peel that off at some point, but that's the uh, that's the top layer. And then here's the, uh, the backer board. This is the piece that was uh, basically face down here. And again, I mean, even this piece is, uh, I'm not sure what this is made out of. No clue what that's made out of, but really, really well done. I mean, you know, I'm not really seeing any kind of like defects or imperfections in this thing. This is definitely dope. Definitely, definitely a dope piece that I'm, uh, I'm excited about having. And uh, let's get some comics, man. Let's get some comics and stick them in here and, and see what kind of magic we can make. So I went ahead and changed the orientation of the frame. I actually had it turned a little around as I was taking it out of the package. So I've actually changed it so that the, the mounts or where the screw heads actually go is at the top versus at the bottom. So I went ahead and did that. And what I want to do right now is I'm actually going to, to wipe everything down with, uh, with a soft cloth here. I uh, use these cloths to basically clean comics, to clean the lenses of my cameras and things like that. So I want to actually wipe everything down because there's a little bit of um, some dust, fine dust on the frame so i want to go ahead and wipe everything down and then i'm actually going to once i wipe it down to remove the protective film from the acrylic piece that is here right here uh, there's actually two sides to it front and back i'm actually going to remove that but i want to make sure all the dust is basically off of everything uh, before i actually take that off so as to prevent um, any kind of dust or debris from being trapped between uh, the acrylic and the comic or the comic and the back side of the frame once I place it on. So I just wanna wipe everything down. So just kind of bear with me as I, as I work through that. So the acrylic 
is now in the the little lip of the frame uh, both sides of course of the film have been removed so I think I'm in good shape. It doesn't look like there's any kind of dust on it, uh, which I think is a really, really good thing. Um, so I've actually selected a really, really cool set of comics that I'm actually going to place in here. And hopefully if I do it right, they will be displayed properly. Uh, this is the Mark Bagley um, connecting cover. This is basically every every mutant ever is basically what this thing is. This is uh, X-Men number one. You guys know I'm a huge fan of, of the X-Men. Uh, definitely a huge fan of what Jonathan Hickman is currently doing with the X-Men and definitely a fan of Mr. Mark Bagley. So I, I thought this was a really, really appropriate comic to actually place in there. I'm um, definitely excited to uh, to see how this thing actually looks. So I'm actually going to have to open up some of these comics and um, and and place them down. So um, hopefully this won't uh, be too much of a bear for me to work my way through. But... So right here, we basically have the Mark Bagley uh, connecting cover. There is X-Men number one here, Marauders one, Excalibur one, X-Force one, New Mutants number one, and then last but not least, Fallen Angels. Um, definitely pleased uh, that that went smoothly. Uh, all the comics are in there. And uh, I'm trying to basically reduce the amount of space between the comics or at least minimize the amount of space without basically, you know, overlapping the comics. I'm trying to position them a little bit carefully here. One of the really great things about this particular cover or this this frame is that there are no dividers uh, between the books. And so it's really a, a nice setup for connecting covers and i want to say that this thing actually comes in a couple of different configurations i think there's a two a three a four a five and a six connecting cover configuration or, or frame if you will so a lot of really really great options uh if you don't have six books i, I think that there's some other options available to you again if you have like two two uh comics up to six they have a frame that will work for you so Definitely, definitely excited about this. This is cool, man. I mean, this is one of those things where, you know, if you think back to like the 90s with like X-Men uh, from the 90s, the Jim Lee stuff, you know, they have the multiple connecting covers and you just kind of lay them out uh, in the plastic so that you can actually see how they flow. This will allow me to actually see how it flows in one uniform piece without the plastic, without interruptions. And um, that's that's really cool. That That is what I'm definitely excited about so what i want to do now is actually get the uh, the back cover in place and once i get the black back cover in place i'm actually going to use these um these these pivoting arms here to kind of swing in place to secure that back side uh, and then i'm actually going to turn it over to to see what it looks like
Okay, what I just experienced here is is basically what the the disclaimer on the the plastic said was that you may have to adjust the height of the screws to accommodate the thickness of the comic that has been placed inside. And what I've basically discovered here is that the the height definitely needs to be adjusted. The, the, the comics are a little thick and be between the thickness of the comic, the thickness of the backboard uh, or the, 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 the back of the frame here, I'm not able to actually pivot the arm into place, which again, I'm actually okay with that, right? So I actually need to, to make some adjustments to the various screws that are here to be able to accommodate the thickness of the comics that have been placed inside. So let's go ahead and do that. So I found the, the smallest screwdriver that I could possibly find <laughs> to, uh, to be able to complete this task. And uh, we're rotating these screws to the left righty tidy lefty loosey right and uh making the adjustment here i'm actually going to make it a little looser than what i need to so that i can make sure that i have the clearance and then i'll tighten it down just a little bit here so i'm basically just rotating it uh the screw a little bit and then trying to wiggle the the arm here to make sure that it is secure doesn't take much of a, of a uh, twist to the screw here to give me the clearance that I need. So I'm just loosening it just a little here. And we'll do this all the way around and we will, I think, be in business. So I've gone ahead and adjusted all of the screws on the back side of this thing. A relatively straightforward process. We're going to go ahead and turn this thing around. Man, this is cool. This is really, really cool. Get this thing rotated around. Wow. Wow. I mean, I've looked at these comics individually. I've, I've kind of position the pieces together you know in their poly bags but when you see it as a as a connected piece it is really really awesome wow this is cool this is cool my spacing's off just a little bit <laughs> my spacing is off just a little bit and uh it, it but the spacing is much much better when you're down here with like these three books uh, versus up here with these first couple man but this this is really really awesome to see all of these fantastic characters that are part of the x-men um the x-men world the x-men universe to see it all in one piece is really cool man archangel right here in the middle looks just him he's impressive it is impressive man how this thing looks 
this is cool. I actually pulled up, I actually pulled up the website here for uh, for the connecting uh, cover because I wanted to give a little bit of context to this thing. It weighs weighs about seven pounds. Uh, it says that the width is forty three point six zero inches. The height is about thirteen point six zero inches, and the depth is uh, 0.75. Um, this thing actually runs retail price is $99.95 is the price for this piece. Um, and as I kind of look here at some of the details, some of the things that they actually point out here is that it allows you to display six comics side by side with no dividers in between allowing the artwork to show as one complete piece. Yes, indeed. As we see one complete fantastic piece. Uh, man, that is uh, that is mind blowing. Seriously, um, it's a wood frame, so we now know that this thing is is wood. It is uh, CNC machined for consistent accuracy. Uh, what's what's really cool is that it's actually cut from one solid piece of material, not pieced together with uh, with wood. I'm sorry, with uh, with glue, with screws, with nails, any of that kind of stuff. Uh, it is one solid piece, and, and the the texture. And, and maybe even my confusion as to why it feel felt the way that it did and the way that it looked was that it is actually uh, black powder coated. There is a heavy duty black powder coat finish to this thing, which is really cool. So no dry or rough edges. It says no chemical off gases from paint. Wow, man, just high quality finish, high quality frame for your high quality comics that it says that <laughs> I'm not just making that up because I like Jonathan Hickman and this most recent run of the, uh, of the X-Men, this thing, man, this, this thing is really, really cool. And the, they give some directions here, uh, on how to properly install it. Those directions were extremely helpful as I was trying to figure out how best to approach this thing. So I definitely uh, am, am appreciative to these guys for, for thinking ahead and, and thinking about the end user and thinking about what it is that we would need to be able to make this happen. So I am definitely pleased with this. This thing looks, it looks incredible. I am really in awe uh, of, of Mark Bagley. <laughs> And, uh, and it's really cool to be able to see. So I'm actually going to take some additional photos here so you guys can actually see up close how, how great this thing looks um, because it, it, is, it is really, really cool. So I wanted um, to go ahead and do that. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you uh, enjoyed the video. I definitely want to encourage you if you are interested in getting one of these fantastic uh, connecting cover frames, right? For, for two comics, three, four, five, up to six comics. I'm going to put a link in the description so that you can uh, go and get the details on like the pricing and the configurations and uh, the dimensions and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to put that in the description so that you guys can check it out. If you enjoyed this video, I definitely want to encourage you to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment behind, let me know what you think. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so at Reggie Collects on Instagram, or you can contact me at Reggie at ReggieCollects.com. Take care.